Hello and welcome again to Banks Line. We have a new exciting watch to our collection today I want to show you. And it's a watch called the Carrera, made by Tag Heuer. And it's a Caliper 36. Now, before we go on to the technicalities of the watch, being a chronograph and also automatic, I just want to show you what the basics are. The inner scale is operated by this button at the 10 o'clock position which as you can see when you move it it actually shows a small yellow arrow going around so we'll leave that at 12 o'clock directly in line with the chronograph seconds finger at this moment in time and we then have a screw down crown with two push buttons which operates the chronograph accordingly start stop and zero now before we get on to how we would read the tenths of seconds with this particular watch I just really want to talk about the features uh, it has a titanium case which has a carbide finish coated finish which is actually polished which is unusual a lot of them tend to always be matte finish you'll notice that the strap has rather nice yellow stitching black strap and the inner part of the strap is also yellow. The clasp which is the titanium fastener closes simply with two buttons to release. If it needs adjusting you turn it over here you literally open it like so and either pull the strap through and then close it to your wrist size or pull it through a bit more if you're a little bit smaller. So very simple, very effective and very secure, says he. There we go. That's the fastener. Now you have an open case back which shows you the rotor, which is the automatic system that they have. Now, one of the things that excites me about this particular watch, which Tag Heuer have started to do, they've always made high-precision watches. And recently, they've been looking to improve all their different models to an even higher standard. What they've actually managed to achieve with this particular watch, it has 36,000 beats per hour. It is extremely fast beat movement. Rolex, Breitling and Amiga are all fast beat which are 28,800. This particular one the quality that you have in this particular watch is 36,000. The only time we've ever seen anything like that before is with the El Primera movement. And for those of you who are familiar with that particular movement, you'll know that it is very, very high quality. So that was the main thing I wanted to express about this. But also this rather nice patent design for the one-tenth of a second which you can record. Let me show you. Now, just as I start this going, just let me show you. You have two dials. Here you have a minute recording dial, up to 30 minutes. You have an hour recording dial. Just on the inside of this part here, on the Caliper 36 model watch, you can see this continuous seconds hand. So when you're not using the chronograph, that will just continue. And you've no need to keep the chronograph going all the time. You're really just using up all the power. That is for a specific need if you're timing uh, a race or you're timing something over a particular distance and you want to know the exact time to tenth of a second. They use a lot of these with car races, the GT car races in particular. And um, it is one of the very um, rather nice features that they've now introduced. Now, as the chronograph is coming past the minute hand, you will see this, this dial move by one. If we stopped it, and we want to know the precise time, what we would now do, we will turn the dial till it is precisely over and directly in line with the yellow chronograph seconds hand, and this inner section which is graded from 1 to 10 
and the tens illustrated as a naught, you will then look at that section and you will see that the minute divisions going round the inner dial, the, the inner part of the minute track of, of the dial, one of these sections will line up precisely with a minute section and you will then read off quite simply six tenths. So in other words it has gone for one minute six seconds and six tenths of a second. Very very precise and a, a, a rather nice feature. Then in order to zero everything you just simply press the button, button and everything is zeroed and th this is your normal position now for the uh, the time and, and also the date position. Now with this particular watch the other feature which is totally different from what you normally find a lot of watches have it, when you have a date in this position between whether it be at the three o'clock or in this case between the four and the five you have a rapid date change now on this particular watch if you unscrew the button you'll hear it click out in the first position you can then wind it so from a standing start you need to give it a good 15 winds or so and then put it on your wrist the movement of your wrist will actually wind the watch up now in that position if you pull it out to the first position so you've got one position for winding the intermediate position which normally used to change the date with this particular caliber it doesn't it winds the fingers alters the fingers backwards or forwards when you move it to the outermost position you then have a quick date change as you can see so that's the, uh, the important feature because if you can treat yourself to one of these watches which by the way is £7,150 and available to us exclusively at present at Banks Line Jewellers here in Lancaster we will run all this through with you and tell you exactly how it does work as well but um, they also have a red version and even when you look at the one or two of the instruction manuals they're actually written as though you have a, a red marker well obviously with this particular uh, watch which is uh, we do favor with it having the yellow and the black which we think is stunning um, the actual main pointer of the one tenth dial uh, one tenth setting is uh, in yellow so once you have set all the watch up push everything back in and this will then screw down you've no need to do it with this particular one because you have a double gasket in here and it's all waterproof that is now totally waterproof which is to 100 meters but it's a watch which is I think very different I love the fact that they're now using a very high quality chronometer rated watch which looks stunning on the wrist sapphire glass so you're not going to scratch it the titanium carbide finish that you have makes it a very tough uh, scratch resistant case and, um, yes if we can help you please call us uh, we do like what Tiger Warrior have done with this new watch it's certainly um, a, a big advancement for them 